Hello friends, this is our another video on blood pressure measurement. Today we gonna look what are the common mistakes and their solution we should take care while measuring blood pressure. So start our topic with a very basic discussion about normal values. It is about 120 by 80 mm Hg. Although we consider high BP only if the value exceeds by 130 by 80. But it depends on age also. So firstly, what should be the posture? The best posture considered is the sitting position with uncrossed legs and our back should be supported and our arm should be at the level of heart that is the middle of the cuff should lie at the level of middle of sternum we can use pillow below the elbow for supporting or adjusting the position of arm make the patient relax at least five minutes before starting the procedure so number two what are the various preparations patients should make sure before measuring the blood pressure Number one, patients should avoid any kind of physical activity or exercise, any intake of caffeine, smoking or alcohol 30 minutes before measuring of blood pressure. Number two, any kind of eating should be avoided before BP measurement as it incre increases the flow of GIT and reduces the peripheral blood flow. Number three, your bladder should be empty before measurement of blood pressure as stressed out bladder makes you in stress position and falsely high BP can be measured by this. Number four, it is an important point whenever you measure, you, if you are a hypertensive, you should measure your blood pressure after taking medication of blood pressure as it helps your doctor to analyze whether the medication is working or not. Our third point is about the cuff position. So the cuff should be of adequate size and it should be applied on the bare skin. Don't apply over the clothes and your clothes should be enough loose so that when you lift up the clothes, it do not constrict your arm. Secondly, never apply the cuff upside down position. Thirdly, make sure that the middle of the cuff should be at the lef level of middle of the sternum to correct measurement of the BP. So our fourth point is regarding the placement of stethoscope. Guys, a very common problem we face that we do not hear the Korotkov sound. It occurs mainly due to the wrong placement of stethoscope bell. To fix this problem, first of all, we should palpate the brachial pulse. For this, the doctor should support the elbow of the patient, slightly abduct the arm, the forearm should be flexed and it should be externally rotated. By this, the biceps tendon become prominent and the artery can be felt just medial to this tendon. Now you should place your stethoscope above this point. Our fifth point is what are the good timings of BP measurement. So normally BP remains high in early morning and it becomes lower during the night. It relates with the physical activity of the person. The maximum BP recorded is around 12 noon. So we should avoid these timings for BP measurement. Secondly, to avoid errors in the measurement of BP, we should take BP more than one time with an interval of one to three minutes gap between these values. And finally, average of these should be recorded for BP measurement. Thirdly, in elderly people, you can take BP first in the supine position and then in the upright position after three minutes gap. A dip in the more than 20 by 10 mmHg is suggestive of postural hypertension. So sixth and the last point, hospital or home, which is better place for measurement of blood pressure. So it is always good idea to measure blood pressure at home than hospital as most of the hypertensive patients get irritated by the things that their BP measures high in the hospital setup while at home their BP measures somewhat low. It occurs only due to white coat hypertension. In white coat hypertension, one gets conscious by looking at the hospital setup, doctors, nurses in their dresses. This consciousness makes the person's BP falsely high which can alter the diagnosis of that person. So my friends, by applying these measures, you can avoid false diagnosis of hypo or hypertension. Thank you for watching video. If any query, you can comment below. Thank you.